everybody. It's Michelle Patterson here with Angel Souls, and these are our 2021 readings by sign. If you would like to get a personal reading with me, just go to my website at angelsouls444.com. Please remember that I do have courses over at Gumroad, and I always leave all that information in the description box below. So what I'm doing here is I, even though I'm not an astrologer, I'm just using the signs to break down into smaller uh, groups of people so that I can read and uh, we will see what is coming up for you in 2021. Let's get started. Hello Aries. So what's going on for you for 2021? As with most people, it's a time of great change, but for you, it is humble change. It is um, waking up. A lot of people are getting this message, but I really want to drive it home to you because People are waking up to themselves. And for you, this might come with a lot of guilt and shame of why did I allow myself to go down that path? Uh, what have I been doing with my life? Uh, you know, I should be more successful by now or I should be married by now or I, I wish I was single, you know, whatever the case may be, this revelation that wakes you up, which is really the rumblings of all of 2021, could find you beating yourself up, okay? Because I get this sense that you like to be right about things. Um, you like to have a clear path forward for some of you who are watching this. Who doesn't? Um, <laughs> uh, maybe the over planning is gonna backfire on you again. That's a message that's been kind of um, a thread here with a lot of readings. But for you, I get this extra concerned feeling that that's the wind in the background. We have an emergency situation going on, so I'm, I might have to just stop this filming and leave. Um, but whatever, we're good right at the moment. So I'm just, I'm getting these videos done. I've been trying to do them for a month. I'm getting them done, <laughs> all right? But for you, there could be all this um, beating yourself up, thinking that you were wrong in how you approached your life or something like that. Do you know what I mean? Like, and I, I get a sense here. I get this feeling of like, despair. And it's all over, oh, my life isn't going the way I thought. So your big lesson for 2021 is learning to be adaptable, which you have the utmost capability of doing. But there are going to be things that fly up in your face that are trying to get your attention and saying, hey, you can't be like this anymore. You can't win at all costs. You can't, um, you know, keep pretending that you're happy when you're not, right? So it's kind of dramatic and that's, uh, it's not going to happen exactly like that for every single person watching this, but there will be some flavor of that for a lot of people. And for, okay, so for example, for some of you, it might be boredom, boredom. I don't have any passion for anything anymore. Um, you know, where do I head from here? What can I be involved with or, or what have you? So this is choosing a different kind of adventure. It's um, disconnecting from the spark, which could kind of die out very, very quickly and going more towards a sustained passion, a sustained, uh, desire, maybe desire is a little dramatic, but you know, just being very interested in the path that you're heading on and finding a love for that, whatever it is that you choose to do, finding a love for it. Now, again, as I'm explaining this, you might be listening to this going, what the heck are you even talking about? Because most of you are so used to being like laser focused and I'm just going to go and it's not going to work for you this year. <laughs> okay, That's just not going to fly and you're going to have to learn to take a different approach. And that means um, laying low, letting your uh, path kind of unfold before you without forcing it open. Does that make sense? All right. So let's get some cards for you. No bulldozing. No, no bulldozing into your future because that's, you're going to hit a wall. And then for some of you, your self-esteem is so pinned on your accomplishments that when things um, and that drive doesn't get you anywhere, you feel like an ultimate failure. And that is so not the case. Okay, that's why I'm bringing all this up. <laughs> okay, <laughs> you have not failed. You're just being asked to change. Okay, all right, one more shuffle here. There we go. First card out we have is hold your vision. See, fixed moon 
it's happening. It will happen. It's just going to happen in a different way, or you might change your goal entirely. This is a year where you're acclimating and coming to terms with how much your life has changed. Now, hold your vision means that there's another dream that could be even better than the one you had imagined before. Remember that, okay? It may not happen right away, but good things are coming. Oh, we got, oh, 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 I got both cards right here, okay. Uh, so we have nothing is yet set in stone, mutable moon. That's the world. That is the world. And so the more you try to push on something and you say, I'm so sure of it, it's, you know, that's my destiny. I have to do that. Well, maybe, but nothing is yet set in stone. So make sure that you are very, very flexible and do not beat yourself up and don't beat up other people either. Okay. A time for healing. Everyone is getting this. Everyone is getting this. It's a time for healing. Balsamic moon. 2020 did a number on us. It did a number on us. And we are all in that space of trying to even out and get centered and grounded again. And I think that's why a lot of your message here is like, don't go pushing ahead. Don't deny the need for healing that you have. Yes. You, maybe you're someone who's always there for everybody else. Okay. But it's okay for you to have your time as well. This keeps coming out too. meditate and contemplate. You saw me shuffle or maybe you didn't. It was off camera, but you saw my hands moving. <laughs> that's how I was shuffling. So meditate and contemplate new moon and Pisces. You have to get in touch with your feelings and your emotions this year. That is what is going to help you turn the corner. It's going to help you go. Um, I want to make it clear. You're still moving forward. You're still making things happen, but man, this world is a surprise a minute and you are going to have to learn to adjust, to be adaptable. If it's not going exactly the way you had anticipated, it's all that stuff we already said. Okay. So here is your color card. Your color card is, is one of the nicest cards in the deck. It's rainbow connect to spirit and nature. The number is one getting back to basics. And when you get back to basics, there's an ocean here. I don't know if you can see that, but that's water. The water gets calm. Rainbows are a sign of blessings and balance and harmony and all the good stuff, right? So when your emotions are even, that's where the blessings come in and they could be shocking. <laughs> okay. Shock is the word here. Okay. It could be like, I'm studying to be a stockbroker. And then all of a sudden I find my calling to be a paramedic. And now I have to completely change course and I'm happy to do it, but afraid of the change. That's the kind of push pull that we have going on this year. The biggest message for you is don't beat yourself up. Do not put too much pressure on yourself. Okay. So we're going to leave it there. I'm sending you so much love and take care.